up in Slack that used to be in content moderation. And, and, and pe- we've spoken to people very recently who were involved in moderation. And they just say, they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, do, is that well, something that you want to address? Talking about? I mean, you use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, but just a personal anecdote. Like, what do you do? I don't. P- personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. You, you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that in that content probably. you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction to something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of, those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, I'm not, you're I'm not saying anything. I'm well, saying... I'm just curious. What you, I'm, just, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con- content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and, if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be bad? Well, you've asked me, you've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more, it, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's what I'm asking for examples. Can right. You, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. I, I, honestly, you I don't can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore because I, I just don't particularly like it. And actually, a lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only, well, well, I only well, look well, at my, my following. You said you've following. seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks, and I. Well, I how did couldn't... you see the hateful content? Content. Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking you for one example. Right. And and I, you can't I, give us a more. And, and, and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con- content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed. You just lied. What? No, no. What I claimed was uh, there are many uh, organisations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my feed or example. not, I mean, I, right? And you can, can get something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, Look, these people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, how let, do you know that? I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content, and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then would how would you know there's hateful weeks. content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, well, COVID misinformation. You changed, the COVID, you changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed its COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Has asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, it then, it then disappeared. Why, why do that? COVID is no longer uh, an issue. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re- regarding ma- masking and, and side effects of vaccinations and not reporting on that at all? And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy? Are you aware of that? This is, a, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> I, this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. You want I'm to talk about the BBC? All right, let's, 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 talk about, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. Let's talk about...